the aim of the reboot of the firearms directive, closing loopholes in European gun laws that had allowed the terrorists involved in the attacks on the offices of Charlie Hebdo to buy a gun legally and convert it to a prohibited live firearm. But can the European Parliament steer the legislation in the right direction? We spoke to the author of the report, British MEP from the European Conservatives, Vicky Ford. So Mr Ford, thank you so much for joining us on Europol TV. Now, can you tell us what is the aim of this legislation? What is the real goal of it? In my view in the Parliament, the goal of this legislation was to close the loophole that was exploited during the Paris attacks. So we've had common European gun laws since the 1990s. There was a particular issue on what we call acoustic weapons, which were these live firearms supposedly converted to only be able to fire blanks, but then reconverted and used in those Charlie Hebdo attacks. Once they became a blank fire, they fell outside the European law, you didn't need a permit. Now we have reinstated that, so you will not be able to turn it into a blank fire and allow it to be outside the law, it will still be regulated. However, the purpose of the amendments here were to clarify a lot of um, bad drafting and therefore unintended consequences that had been brought through by the Commission's original proposals. So the now you, you've, you've been quite critical yeah. of their proposals. Yes, they drafted significant changes in their proposal that came through in November, which were caused huge concern for how museums work, how um, traditional hunters and sports shooters and even those doing military reenactments could work. They came up with a new common standard on deactivated firearms, which is in many places technically just not feasible to do. But let's talk through the actual types of guns that, that this will catch. Uh, for example, the Commission, they wanted to catch two types of semi-automatic weapons, the Kalashnikovs and these deactivated guns. The is that still no, the case? The issue is not the de deactivated, the issue was specifically on these converted into blank firearms. On the semi-automatic firearms, again, the Commission's text was incredibly badly worded. It said that anything that resembles or looked like, so it could have even caught um, replicas, toy guns, very, very poorly drafted legal language. We've uh, tightened that up so that there will be specific controls on a semi-automatic that can fire over a certain number of rounds and you will only be able to use those if you are a registered target shooter who's taking part in competitions in a club, in a contestant. So the target shooters can use those but not for the normal individual. Mm -hmm. So the legislation that Parliament has redrafted, mm -hmm. it will now protect the rights of legal gun owners. We've Absolutely. spoken to them and they said that they are put through very stringent tests. So, so why should this legislation catch well, them? Some of this is that there may be different tests in different countries, but the tests will be there. They will have the restrictions on their, on, on their, as they have at the moment, but they will not make it impossible for them to carry on with their sporting activities. The Commission's text in many places would have done that. That's why I've been working with the hunters, the people who run museums, the people who run the shooting competitions, to try and make sure that their activities can still carry on, but under a stringent legal framework that will bring in place some of the best practice across Europe and make sure that European authorities can also share information about what's going on. The reboot of this legislation came about because of a terrorist incident, but is this legislation per se going to be able to tackle terrorism full on? There needs to be other work on tackling terrorism. This is ensuring that legal firearms can be legally owned um, across Europe. We have closed the loophole that was exploited by terrorism in the legal laws. There needs to be separate work that is not part of this committee's work um, looking at how to tackle illegal use of firearms. Different issue. Lovely. Thank you so much, Mr. Ford. Thank you for joining us on Europol TV.